Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, use a uh, modern uh, browser on a TARP uh, PUP 32-bit uh, 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 laptop. Um, I have a 17-year-old uh, uh, Dell laptop here with a Celeron processor and uh, 2 gig of RAM with a spinning hard drive and uh, I'm recording off of uh, with a uh, simple screen recorder as you can see so um, one of the major problem with uh, Puppy Linux uh, especially older uh, uh, distros are that um, uh, the browsers uh, that usually come uh, as uh, w uh, is a, a pale moon and there's a variant of Pale Moon that actually works much better so we'll go ahead and uh, talk about that but uh, uh, first I'll just show you there are uh, Puppy Linux uh, downloads that's available for 32-bit machines um, usually most uh, the mar uh, latest uh, recommended uh, is uh, Bionic Pup 32 uh, which y you can download here one I'm using is a tar pup uh, which is several years old based on uh, Ubuntu 14.0.04 but I like it because uh, out of the box it only uses uh, 60 megabyte of RAM um, but uh, with the Bionic pup uh, uh, 32 the uh, out of the box it uses over 300 uh, megabytes most of the Linux uh, uh, distros, modern Linux distros, use uh, above 800 megabyte, and frequently uh, way above uh, one gig of RAM uh, is uh, used uh, and required. So if you have a uh, resource uh, challenged <laughs> old laptop, uh, a Xenial Pup is the way to go. So. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, Pale Moon that comes with a, uh, uh, a Xenial Pup uh, will not let you download a, a browser that we need to download. So uh, if you go to uh, Puppy Linux discussion forum here, uh, you, what you have to do is go down to uh, additional software and browsers and internet right there. So we'll go ahead and click there and then it should and then you want to get into this uh, uh, this topic here pale moon portable browsers 32 and 64-bit uh, you will go ahead and click there and get into it so what you want to do is uh, you want to download this uh, file which is a uh, 32-bit SSE only builds but uh, I tried on uh, Firefox and also Pale Moon that comes with a uh, tar pop. It doesn't. It won't let you download the uh, file. But this, I'm actually using the downloaded uh, uh, Pale Moon, which is a new moon here, as you can see. This is the file I've actually uh, used. But I'll just go through the steps of. Uh, downloading the file you may have to use either another uh, Linux uh, operating system uh, or or um, or you may have to use another uh, a Linux machine but let me just go ahead and get into it so I went I just went through this to install the uh, browser but uh, we'll go ahead and do this again It takes a while because I'm on a uh, Wi-Fi uh, USB stick here, so so it's doing its thing in the background. So what you want is you want to get into the latest uh, version, which is 29.4.1. Okay, so here's a file you want. You want the tar.gz. So you right-click and then go to Download and Standard Download. And then you can see that uh, 
uh, there is a is being downloaded so okay now uh, we're going to restart so here's a, a pale moon that's on my downloaded folder and uh, you can see that uh, it's got a long uh, name and uh, it's also a compressed file so what you need to do is just left click and then it'll, uh, it'll uh, extract uh, to a single f uh, large file so we'll just go to the uh, select all extract and then let it extract to this f uh, same fo uh, download folder so Okay, it's done. And then we'll go ahead and close this window. And here is the uh, f uh, major file. We'll just click inside of it. And then here is the executive ex executable uh, uh, file here, which is launch. I'll just cl left click and we'll start the uh, new moon. So this is the new moon, SSE. We'll close that. So we'll come back out. So here's a new moon, and um, this is downloaded uh, a compressed file. So we'll just get rid of it. And then because of the, it's got a convoluted name, what I would prefer to do is just uh, uh, change its name to, uh, and then we'll just rename it to new moon. So we'll, we're going to re rename it to Newman Portable uh, 32s, which is fine. So it's much easier to work with. Okay, now rather than uh, leaving it in a downloads folder, what uh, what you really should do is uh, put it on. Uh, what I t uh, tend to do is put it on OPT uh, fo uh, a folder. So here's the OPT fol folder. Uh, all all you need to do is just drag this. Uh, I obviously, I have uh, one already, so I'll just go ahead and delete that one just to show you. So I'll just grab this from downloaded, uh, extracted uh, uh, folder and just grab it and then move it over here. Okay. So now we move the, uh, uh, the the new new browser here, and we already uh, seen how to uh, uh, launch it. Okay, so we'll just stop there for this section. Now, once you put it in uh, OPT folder, next thing you need to do is you need the easy way to launch the program. So one of the easiest way easiest way is just go ahead and get it inside of it and you grab the uh, launch uh, command here with your left click mouse and drag it out onto desktop okay so n now when you just uh, click that launch uh, desktop icon you'll start the uh, uh, browser okay but we're gonna make it even easier we'll just close the browser here we'll so rather than uh, having the uh, non-specific name of launch, what I I would suggest is just go ahead and left click, and then edit item, and then rather than uh, launch, we'll just say new moon, and then click uh, next uh, click uh, bo uh, keyboard shortcut is we'll just make it whatever you prefer, but uh, we'll just make it for this demonstration is. Uh, shift control W. I'll go ahead and click those uh, keys now. Shift control W. Okay, so now it's recorded as shift control W. And we'll go ahead and s uh, give it an OK. So now every time you uh, enter shift control W, it's going to start the program. I uh, just uh, shift control W. So you can see that how it started. So. I'll go ahead and close it 
and on mine uh, you see that there is no uh, uh, icon so that I don't use this uh, uh, particular method but I think this is probably uh, the easiest for the most of you now here's a second way of launching an application uh, uh, especially if you don't like a uh, cluttered uh, desktop so uh, I showed you the first way you use the uh, click on the icon uh, now here's the second uh, with a keyboard uh, uh, launch so you have to modify the uh, JWM uh, file so uh, so on a root folder you go to a, a dot JWM so it's a hidden folder so if you don't see it just uh, use control H to uh, bring it up and then j under j dot JWM you go in and you want to modify this so you go ahead and right click and then uh, open default editor or or, or you open it as a text you can use either and I made it larger so you can see so you open it up open up that folder it's gonna it's gonna look different than what I mine is mine is uh, I use a lot of uh, bash script and so on so but the key uh, word what you want to do is uh, here so what you wanna way I have it set up is four is a super windows key and if I put in uh, and and then I use W so super and W will trigger this uh, uh, action so you're just gonna because we've uh, uh, put it on OPT folder new moon dot uh, dash portable uh, 32 uh, slash L A U N C H launch that's the that's the f uh, command that you want to put in uh, by the way it also uh, will not show up on uh, uh, a menu so there's because of uh, this uh, it's a portable a portable application the new moon will not show up here so uh, you need to uh, so we got it uh, set up as a key so after that what you want to do is just go ahead and uh, you can do it this way stage up with M restart so then it's going to scan, it's going to update the uh, uh, JWM personnel uh, so you'll read it and then what you can do is just uh, use super and W let's see if it starts so yes it does indeed start so we'll go ahead and do that so in a puppy Linux uh, forum uh, there is under uh, board index of house training instruction how to uh, section and tick tips and tweaks there is a uh, uh, title uh, of the uh, uh, thread that we want to look at is view YouTube without ads and it's been uh, uh, published by uh, Mochi Mopel uh, so what he suggests is creating a, a little uh, script and uh, he outlined it here we'll go ahead and uh, grab it and then we'll go ahead and uh, copy it so what we need to do is put this in a small uh, script uh, uh, we'll see uh, uh, a folder with my uh, applications here and there is a, a folder again uh, bin and now uh, I have a lot of scripts here, but most uh, most of you uh, initially when you open it up, it'll only be uh, one or two maybe. Uh, but what we need to do here, uh, this uh, folder is very helpful because it uh, this folder is in the path of uh, Puppy Linux, uh, so anything that you put in here it gets read automatically. Uh, but if you don't know exactly what I'm saying, I'll go. Uh, don't worry about it. What we need to do is put that script we just copied into uh, script uh, youtube.sh utube.sh that name uh, doesn't really matter but that's uh, the file that I uh, named so what we want to do is you won't have this initially so what you have to do this is we'll go ahead and open up a uh, 
uh, terminal in that folder you will see that this is on my applications uh, bin folder what we need to do is create a file and I I name mine here sh and then we want to edit it into uh, genie so go ahead YouTube sh and when you do that and then enter uh, you'll get this uh, a similar screen you you may not have this side but you should come out with youtube.sh and simply what you need to do is just copy the script that uh, that I, I refer to and this is the script so after that you save it you save it's already saved okay now what we need to do next is uh, uh, we need to have access to this SH so uh, the easiest way is just go ahead and left click and drag it out to the uh, desktop now uh, you won't you'll have a uh, plain icon here and don't worry about it I, I cleaned it up uh, by making it invisible but you'll notice that I have the same thing here and we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and remove this and this is the same so uh, what you need to do next is right click and then get into edit item and then you'll see youtube.sh but what you need to do is uh, put in a keyboard a shortcut in my case you'll have uh, nothing there what in my case I like to use control U so click the set and then uh, control U to set up the uh, set up the keyboard shortcut uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, get OK so we've finished that um, and that's the second part and then oh after that what we need to do is uh, get into a uh, menu and we need to uh, get into the default desktop so the uh, default application chooser okay set up and it's under setup default application chooser and then we have to modify this a bit <sighs> to mainly uh, let uh, uh, browser path uh, is uh, different uh, so w under browser path what we need to do is uh, let's see if this will uh, it doesn't open okay is uh, tell the tell the uh, uh, puppet Linux exactly where this browser is so you have to copy this again this is uh, I'll just show you OPT and so you have to uh, this is and this is the file we need to uh, uh, click so what we need to, uh, is copy this enter that and then add in add in LAUNCH and then apply okay and next uh, we're we're all set so, so let me just demonstrate what this actually does we'll go ahead and start the uh, start pale moon, pale moon and we'll go to uh, YouTube so let's say uh, you want to play this uh, any clip uh, actually in about five percent of the time for whatever the reason it may not work but let's go ahead and uh, it, it almost always works so right right let's say you want to go ahead and uh, play this without ads uh, so what you want to do is just right click on it and then just uh, press A A refers to uh, App A refers to let's see cop copy link location but it's much easier just go ahead and click so click A 
and then when you as soon as you click a it's going to disappear and then you next you want to uh, enter control u to trigger that uh, uh, the script control u and then you will have another window that starts and then that the the video of interest will start all without ads and then you wanna and uh, and you wanna even make it uh, easier is F11 so and then we'll go ahead and close that down so control W uh, closes that part of the win uh, the tab so control W is still playing uh, okay now it's all uh, done now when you uh, when you have uh, one uh, last thing that I would recommend is uh, when you have a, a new moon uh, with uh, YouTube what you want to do is go to settings on a default setting uh, the performance is going to be very sluggish so what you want to do is get in the settings and then get to playback and performance so you want to uh, turn off always show captions that's not the major problem major problem is here inline playback is always on turned on that's the default what you want to do is turn that off okay that that makes it uh, much more uh, uh, effective in running uh, this whole script to watch the uh, YouTube video without ads so I hope this is all helpful to you and if you have uh, uh, any further suggestions on uh, tarpup use uh, let me know and